In this video, we're going to take a look at equivalent fractions. So equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal, but have different numerators and denominators. So for example, let's say we've got 1 over 2 here. And an example here of an equivalent fraction, so 1 over 2, would be 2 over 4. And to get that here, notice I've times both my numerator and denominator by 2. Okay, times that by 2 here. 1 times by 2 gives me 2. Do the same here with the denominator. So 2 times by 2 gives us 4 there. Okay, another example here of an equivalent fraction. So let's say we've got 3 over 4. We've got 3 over 4. Then an example here of an equivalent fraction to 3 over 4 would be 9 over 12. So 9 over 12. And notice here I times both my numerator and denominator by 3. So 3 times by 3 here would give me 9. And 4 times by 3 here would give us 12. Okay. If we take a look at one more example here of equivalent fractions. Let's say we've got 1 over 7. So 1 over 7. And an example here of an equivalent fraction to 1 over 7 would be 7 over 49. So notice here, what I've done is I've times both my numerator and denominator by 7. So times by 7 there, the same here with the denominator. Times by 7, so 1 times by 7 gives us 7. 7 times by 7 gives us 49 there, okay? And notice obviously you can go the other way. So let's say we've got 3 over 6. We've got 3 over 6 here. Then if we want to simplify this, we want to simplify 3 over 6 here in its simplest form. And this would be an example of an equivalent fraction. In that case, then what I do now is I divide. So if we're going backwards here, what I can do is I can divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3 would give me 1. Do the same here with the denominator, so that is equivalent. Then I do 6 divided by 3 here, which would give us 2. Okay, so 3 over 6 and 1 over 2 are equivalent. Okay, so... That's everything we need there for our introduction to equivalent fractions. What we're going to do now is just take a look at one practice question. So if we just take a look at this practice question here, what we've been given is a list of fractions. I've got 4 over 8, 7 over 14, 3 over 6, 8 over 15, and 30 over 60. And we're asked to identify the fraction which is not equivalent. So notice that this not here is in bold, or so not equivalent to 1 over 2. So all I'm going to do here is just whip my way through each fraction and show that it's hopefully equivalent to 1 over 2. The one that I can't show is equivalent to 1 over 2 would be the fraction here that we're looking to identify. So let's begin with 4 over 8 here. We've got 4 over 8. So what you might notice here for 4 over 8 is I can divide both the numerator and denominator here by 4. We can divide the numerator here by 4. That would give us 1. We can do the same here with the denominator. We can divide by 4. So 8 divided by 4 would give us 2 there. Okay. So 4 over 8 is equivalent to 1 over 2. So that's fine. So we'll give that a tick. Keep working our way through here. We've got 7 over 14. So let's do it underneath. 7 over 14. So for 7 over 14, again, I can divide both the numerator and denominator here. We can divide by 7. So 7 divided by 7, that would give us 1. 14 divided by 7, that would give us 2. So that one's fine. Keep working our way through here. We've got 3 over 6. So 3 over 6 here. Well, again, I can divide both the numerator and denominator here. And I can divide both by 3. So 3 divided by 3 here would give me 1. And 6 divided by 3 would give me 2. So 3 over 6 is equivalent to 1 over 2, so that's fine as well. 8 over 15 here. So 8 over 15. Now we have a bit of an issue here. Okay, I can't divide both of these here so that I get 1 over 2. Okay, And what you might notice here is um, instantly with the first three fractions is my numerator is half of the value of my denominator. Okay, Divide 8 by 2, you get 4. Divide 14 by 2, you get a 7. Divide 6 by 3, you get, uh, oh, sorry, try again. Divide 6 by 2, you get 3. But if I do the same here with 15 and 8, so if I divide 15 by 2, I don't get 8, okay? We get 7.5 there. So in that case then, this is the fraction here 
that is not equivalent to 1 over 2. Okay, so therefore, the fraction, that's not equivalent. The fraction, not equivalent. Not equivalent to 1 over 2 is 8 over 15. Okay. And there we have it. So that's the solution to that practice question there. And that brings the end of this video on equivalent fractions. So in the next video, what we're going to take a look at is writing, simplifying, and ordering fractions.